Hello and welcome to the newsroom. The Court of Appeals sitting in Abuja has dismissed a motion filed by Walter Nogan, the suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria, seeking stay of execution on his ongoing trial at the Code of Conduct Tribunal. Onogen, who was last week suspended by President Muhammad Buhari over allegations of false asset declaration, had approached the court arguing that the CCT had no jurisdiction to preside over the case. But well, on the case on Wednesday, the court held that the charges filed against Onogen are criminal in nature and the proceedings before the CCT cannot be stopped. The Air Tax Force of Operation Lafayette Adoli has destroyed a Boko Haram terrorist logistic base in Sambiza Forest, Burundi State. The force spokesperson, Air Commodore Ibikuni Daramola, said the operation was executed on the 28th of January after series intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions revealed a resurgence of human and vehicle activities at a logistic base which had earlier been abandoned. A group of protesters on Wednesday stormed the Lagos State House of Assembly in disapproval of the planned impeachment of the state governor, Akimu Nambodi. The assembly had accused the governor of gross misconduct and illegally spending from the 2019 budget, which had yet to be approved. They had given the governor seven days to defend the allegations or risk impeachment. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, has again received a total of 162 stranded Nigerians from Libya. The returnees were received at a cargo wing of the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, by the coordinator of the Lagos Territorial Office of NEMA, Idris Mohammed. The new group is made up of 100 females, including four pregnant women, 82 adults, 13 children, and five infants. The chairman of the All Progressives Congress APC chapter in Adamawa State, Hamisu Mejinyawa, has been abducted by unknown gunmen. The police public relations officer in Adamawa State's command, Uthman Abubakar, who confirmed the kidnap, says the command is investigating the incidents with the hope of apprehending the criminals. Every barrel of crude oil produced and exported out of Nigeria is now being tracked by the federal government in collaboration with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. This is according to the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Ibe Kachiku. Kachiku, speaking at the ongoing Nigeria International Petroleum Summit in Abuja, said the government and the EFCC recently commenced the tracking of vessels leasing crude oil from Nigeria to promote accountability. And to the foreign scene, Venezuela's Supreme Court has imposed a travel ban on opposition leader and self-declared interim president, Juan Guide, uh, which is a move that further depends, deepens the part tussle crisis beset in the South American country. In addition to the travel ban, financial restrictions have been placed on Guaido, with all his accounts frozen. Five engineers, including two working for a German company, have been arrested in Brazil as part of a probe into a deadly dam collapse at a mine in the country's southeast last week. According to prosecutor's office, three of the engineers work for Vail, the owner of the mine, and were directly involved in the process of the facility's operating licenses. And to sports, Paris Saint-Germain striker Neymar Jr. will miss both legs of their Champion League round of 16 clash against English side Manchester United through injury. The French club confirmed that the Brazilian sustained a metasal injury in his right foot during their match against Strasbourg in the Coupe de France second round clash on January 23rd. And that's the latest from our newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Agoncha. Bye for now.